Hey guys, it is Steve on the Guru Brew. How you doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to make wine. I've been making wine for many years and this is the simplest recipe I know and it makes good wine every time. It's kind of foolproof as long as you follow a few steps. It doesn't take a lot of equipment and you can buy this great concentrate at any grocery store. I'll show you what to look out and that sort of thing for the type that you need. Anyway, for just a few bucks, we can make a really good wine, and even those that don't necessarily like wine will probably like this wine. I've had many compliments. I usually make a big batch of it, drink it all year long, and then give some away as gifts. So let's get started. Okay, the first step in winemaking is to make a yeast starter mixture. I'm going to use this package of Montrachet Red Star Yeast. They have other yeast available, but I like this one. But any winemaking yeast will work. Then you're going to need a container for boiled water. Let's go ahead and get some water boiling. I'll show you what to do next. This is just ordinary tap water. We're going to boil it. Now we wait. Okay, well our water's come to a boil, so let's go ahead and take that off. We're boiling this water to basically purify it. And I forgot to mention this is about 24 ounces of water. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let that cool down to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll add the yeast and sugar. Right about 24 ounces. Okay, well the mixture's cooled down to 110 and as long as your temperature's around 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, you're good to go. Any hotter and you may kill the yeast, so let's go ahead and mix this up now. Again, I'm using the Monachette Red Star Yeast, one package. Just dump it in the water. Give it a little stir. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of ordinary sugar. Mix it up. Okay, I'm just going to let my yeast sit for like an hour and then we're going to add it to the mixture we're going to make next. So let's start processing our grape juice. It's coming up. Now we want to mix up some disinfectant solution. These tablets are called Campden tal tablets and one can make a whole gallon of disinfectant. And you just take the pill and put it in a pill crusher and crush it up and then you're going to add this to one gallon of water and that's what we're going to use to sterilize our equipment. Okay so I made my Campton solution here it is and we're going to use it on this big bucket. This is a food grade bucket six gallon and this is what we're going to start our wine in and after you wash the bucket out really 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 good you're going to pour a little bit of this stuff in and um, disinfect the bucket basically let's do that doesn't take much Good. Okay, let's start adding the juice. Okay, so we're going to start adding the concentrate to our bucket now that we've disinfected the bucket. And um, just make sure that you get 100% juice. If you get like a grape drink or something like that, it's not going to be 100%. There's probably chemicals in there to, you know, make it so it doesn't ferment very well. So make sure you look out for 100% juice. 
anything that's found in the frozen aisle is going to be 100% fruit juice, chances are, but still read the label. So I'm just taking these grape juices. I've got 10 cans here. And that'll make our five gallon. And I'm just going to empty them all into this bucket. Okay, so I've added my juice concentrates to this bucket. And I also rinsed out the cans with water and put that in here as well. It comes up to about here. Here's where the five gallon mark is. Again, here's the juice I used. It's great value brand, 100% grape juice. So anyway, what we need to do is add enough water to fill this up. We're going to get some tap water, just room temperature, and we're going to come up to about the four gallon mark next. So let's add some water to this. That's roughly about four gallons and I want to stop there. We're going to have to take a reading and I'll show you what's to be done next with that. Hang on. This is the little instrument that I have. It's called a hydrometer. And it tells you how much sugar and alcohol potential you have in your mix. And I put some of this juice in here. And if you don't have one of these, it's fine. You can just follow my recipe and get a pretty good mix. But if you want to be more specific on how much alcohol you'll end up with or how much sugar to add, this is the way you can do it. If you were to float this in water, it would just float at zero right there. But this is thicker than water because of the sugar in it. And mine is currently at right about two and if I look on the side of the scale it's right now going to make approximately 7% alcohol by volume. I want to jack that number up to um, about 16%, 17% alcohol. So that means I have to go to 20 on this scale and I can use the chart that I'll include with this video to figure out how much sugar. But the answer is about 7 seven pounds of sugar so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up seven pounds of sugar and dilute it in some warm water and um, add it to this mix and that'll give us the starting point that we're after so let me go ahead and mix that up now okay so according to my calculations I need seven pounds of sugar and this is a ten pound bag so I'm gonna take out three pounds to get my seven because I'm using a small scale so I'm gonna go ahead and remove three pounds I'll be back well that's what seven pounds of sugar looks like I took out three pounds out of this bag in that plastic bag this was a ten pound bag there so that'll give me my seven so I'm gonna add some water and then start dissolving it on this stove Okay, I got low heat on and I'm mixing in my seven pounds of sugar and I just added enough water so I could get this sugar suspended. Make sure you keep mixing this because this will burn very easily if you don't. We just need to get all the sugar dissolved. Still stirring away and um, it's going to take some time but just keep stirring. You don't want this stuff burning. My fire is not very hot. I'm about I'm about 85 Fahrenheit, so keep moving. Okay, I would say that the sugar is probably suspended enough in the water. Very thick solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off on this and pour it in a pitcher so I can get it into the jug easier okay so I got my super my super sugar mixture here I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to this mix lots of sugar 
That's how we make alcohol, though. And you can see it brought the level up right about to here. And by the time we move this around in bottles and things like that, we're going to lose a little. So we'll end up with about five gallons when we're done. Let's go ahead and mix this up. We're going to mix it up here for just a couple minutes. And then we're going to add in two more ingredients. And then we're going to go ahead and add our yeast. This is yeast nutrient. And for this five gallons, I'm going to add one tablespoon. Tablespoon. Just a little bit more here. And then the other thing is this yeast energizer. And I'm going to go ahead and also add one tablespoon of that. Give it a mix. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get another sample on our hydrometer and see if we've got the right number and then we're going to go ahead and add our yeast. So let me get some in there. So a little hard to see, but we're sitting right about 16. And that is the right number. So we did the sugar right. So the last stop before we uh, call it a day is we have to put that yeast mixture in. Let's go see if it's ready. Yeast energizer. yeast nutrient and the juice that we used and here's the the Camden tablets okay now that we've got the right gravity measurement and all our ingredients except for our yeast are in the bucket let's go ahead and look at this yeast and see how it's doing See the little bubbles at the top? That means it's reacting. So all we have to do now is add our yeast to our mixture. Stir it in. I'll stir this for a couple minutes and then we'll get the lid on it. Well as you can see there's already air bubbles starting to form on the top of this and it will throb up. We're going to leave it in this container about five days. This lid is called an airlock and it fits in a hole inside my plastic lid for my jug. And it, le it keeps the oxygen out of the, the mixture but it allows the gases to escape. And you just put a little water here, and that's the airlock, and it will bubble as it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the top of it. So there it is. It should start bubbling here pretty quick. And um, I'm just going to set it in a dark room in the uh, corner. And um, leave it set for about four to five days. Let's see if I can catch it bubbling. There it goes. So it's starting up ready. That's good. Well, that's it for the first part of our simple winemaking for beginners. Our bucket is already starting to bubble. And I'm just going to set this down on the floor and let it go for about four or five days. And then we're going to be transferring it to a glass container called a carboy. There's one back here. And um, we'll document that in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified by email when a new video comes available. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching this, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.